the Community Ties Program with Alex Micas on Tiger Country 97.5 WTGR. Like we do each and every weekday, we sit down with a member from the community to talk about an organization or an event. Uh, very happy to talk about harness racing today at the Great Dark County Fair, uh, which uh, in all actuality is pretty amazing that uh, here we are a little over a week away. Uh, from getting that started over at the grandstands. But uh, Tim Harless joins us on the show today. And, Tim, always fun to have you on the program, but um, few and far between. Here we are back again for another year, 2014, and uh, we're getting ready to go. Yeah, it, uh, it's great to be with you, Alex. It seems like it uh, happens quicker every year. But, uh, you know, I was talking to Daryl Ruffle this morning. He was on the grounds working, and it's kind of like the fair is kind of like a lady having a, baby no matter what you do she's going to have that baby so uh, it, it, it's coming quick that's uh, that's very true and uh i remember talking to you uh, a couple years back and discussing the gene regal memorial sort of wondering how that would fare and it turned out to be great and then you think well how do we beat that and then the second year i don't know personally i i feel like you guys were even better for year number two and um it here we are in year number three, and it just seems like this event continues to grow. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've kind of always had a had a goal, Dick Delk and I, to uh, have a six-figure race here. We, Of course, we haven't got there yet. We started off three years ago with a passing of Gene to honor him. We started off with a – we raised $10,000. Last year, 20000 and this year we've got 30000 And I'm also uh, proud to announce um, we're going to have a Philly division that night. Similar like the Kentucky Derby, they have the Kentucky Oaks for the girls. It's a male-dominated sport, both driving and on the track. A lot of times the girls don't race against the boys. But we got 7,500 now for a Philly division that night, which will go the same night as the Regal Memorial, called the Three Diamonds. Three Diamonds was a great mare that uh, Jean trained. Uh, goes all the way back to 1979. She'll be on the program cover. But we're pleased to provide that, and I'm also getting ready to announce this week. I don't have details finalized, but the winning mayor will get a free breeding to an Ohio Stallion for the 2015 season. Um, no other fair in Ohio offers that. And, you know, we just keep look, looking at each way. We can, uh, you know, raise the bar, raise the notch a little bit. And that is going to be the uh, last night of harness racing. Um, but for folks out there, uh, the schedule this year, uh, going to be something similar than what we saw last year. The only difference will be the last Friday afternoon we're starting at noon instead of 1. We start uh, next Friday night, I believe it's the 15th, at 7 o'clock, Saturday at 1 and 7, and then we're off till Thursday and Friday. We go at 1 and 7 and then noon and 7 on uh, on Friday, the night of the Regal Memorial. And uh, talking about that night, we got uh, a couple of fun giveaways, uh, like you've done in years past. Uh, we're going to yeah, we, be uh, of course gi- giving something back to the fans. The first year we did the Regal Bobblehead, which was a really unique experience, and again, the only fair that's ever done that in our in our nation. Last year we started a, a series with mugs, a commemorative mug. It was uh, based in the red collar. This year will be Chartreuse, which was Jean's collars, and uh, this year. It's etched like last year. It does have the past two winners. And the next year we plan to go back to a red and maybe go up to a set of six or eight and look at something a little bit different. Also that night we uh, we feature a race called Ladies' Night Out, and we're going to honor Chelsea Kaiser. Um, as you know, she was a, a longtime farm director here, and uh, she's began a riding career. She's uh, two year, not quite two years in, and she's already over $2 million now with a couple wins this week, and uh, she'll be in the house. Uh, Brian Jones and, and Jane on the snack shop in New Madison have stepped up and, and got us 500 um, win photos of Chelsea. We'll have her signed before, and we'll begin the giveaway that night in the pair of mutuals at, uh, at 6 o'clock. We've got 1,000 mugs, 500 photos, the first in line. I love to tell this story. Three years ago, we did the bobblehead. All the fair board members carry walkies, but I heard them say on their walkie, you know, we need crowd control in the grandstand. <laughs> well, it had been years. It had been years since we had anything like that at the fair, and uh, and, and, and they were lined up. And that leads me into something, too. I, I really need, especially that Friday night, I really need the fans to come out and support us. Um, it's free. All, all the grandstand events for harness racing are free. But I need a loud, raucous crowd that night. 
I need him to, you know, let the horsemen know, and they, they can hear it. You know, they can they can hear it. And uh, last year we had a packed house, and I, I need it again. And uh, talking about uh, that atmosphere in, in that venue, uh, when talking about sports, sometimes the, the crowd makes the event so much better. Uh, when talking about the athletes involved, just from their expressions and their presence alone, uh, so hopefully uh, those folks can come out in numbers and uh, support us uh, throughout the whole week and, and especially on that Friday night. Now, I want to go back to Chelsea quickly. She's going to be in attendance. She is going to be here. Um, she's been she's flown in and out a few times for some mounts in Indiana, Shelbyville. She's been at Belterra Park recently, but she's based now in Boston. But she really hasn't got to come home in quite some time, and uh, I know her family. Friends are looking forward to having her here, but we will have her here. She'll be in the winter circle for the uh, winter circle presentation. That'll be the second race that night too. We were fortunate, uh, of course. You mentioned Chelsea used to work here at WTGR, but she was on the show uh, right around the Kentucky Derby time. And what a, a bright spark! Uh, she is something else, and like you said, she's had some wonderful success early in her career, and we hope that her career can continue. But uh, what a fun event. I'm sure she's excited. I haven't talked to her since uh, this uh, recent announcement of her actually being at the fair. But uh, I know that y- you have, and uh, I'm sure she's probably just bubbling. Absolutely. Um, you can, and as you know, you can hear it in her voice. And, uh, you know, the thing I-, I love about Chelsea is she dreams big. And uh, we're hoping maybe some of the 4-H kids will catch on to this. And, you know, if we can get one, one youth to maybe uh, – Dream big. I think we've accomplished something. Now, how do these ideas and these promotions and these concepts and, and discussing Chelsea, talking about Gene Regal, talking about the giveaways, uh, talking about the money that continues to come in uh, for these uh, special events, where where does this all come from? Well, Dick and I, work. we work year-round. I work for um, Dick, his two assistants are Velma and Matt Altman. And, of course, you know, when you serve on the fair board, um, they wear a lot of different hats. And as you can tell by everything they went through this winter with the with the fire, those folks can chew gum and, and walk at the same time. They do a lot of different things. But I'm real blessed. I, I'm, I have a great support in the Dark County Harness Horsemen Association. Um, Kirby Wilcox is their president, one of their trustees, uh, Ronnie Richards. Um, I mean, we talk all the time, and, you know, we just kind of look at it like uh, – you know, why not us? Why can't we do it? You know, the unique thing in Dark County in the last month, uh, just under $400,000 NASCAR truck race, 15 miles from here in a cornfield. 30 days later, we're going to have a $30,000 one dash for 30 grand horse race. And uh, amongst all the other things that go on in our county and the villages in the city here, it's just a, it's a unique place and it couldn't be a better place to, to live. Well, it uh, is a really special event, and uh, we're looking forward to it again as Harness Racing coming back to the Great Dark County Fair. We're going to have more as uh, Tim Harless joining us on this Wednesday morning. It's Community Ties right here on Tiger Country. The Community Ties program continues with Alex Micas on Tiger Country 97.5 WTGR. All right, talking with Tim Harless on a Wednesday morning as uh, the Great Dark County Fair uh, fast approaching. It gets underway next Friday and that being uh, August 15th, and then it will run all the way uh, until uh, Saturday, August 23rd. And uh, we're talking harness racing today as a full schedule uh, for the uh, Great Dark County Fair, and it uh, all comes to an end on a great Friday night, and that being the uh, 30 annual Gene Regal Memorial. they got a lot of fun promotions uh, for that evening when uh, discussing racing and, more importantly, giving back to the fans. Uh, Tim... It's interesting because uh, a few years back, there was there there were a lot of questions, and, and you saw this trend amongst uh, fairs throughout the Buckeye State of dropping uh, harness racing or at least sessions. And uh, here in Dark County, that didn't take place, and we've made almost like a complete 180, where uh, harness racing is trending upward. Definitely. Um... We just hung in there the best we could, and a lot of fairs dropped or dropped sessions, and have, they've continued in that trend. And we've been rewarded. We've been rewarded with the state uh, harness horsemen association and, and their support and our fundraising to to put the Regal Race on, and now the Three Diamonds, and uh, it's it's coming back to uh, it's coming back to help us. And there's a lot of activity in the area 
when talking about happenings in Dayton, Lebanon, and your facility, I would like to think, would probably benefit from that uh, with the already actions in Indiana and sort of sitting as like a middle point to uh, both those venues. We've had some new, of course, we have a year-long training center here, a big part of the agri-economy in Dark County, and uh, we've had some new stable ship in. Currently, we have a mare on the grounds now. She's a five-year-old mare. Two years ago, she was second in limb of the jugette. Uh, her name is Section Line Yankee, and uh, hopefully we'll see her at the, at the fair this year. Uh, uh, something else new I want to plug, we've got a Facebook page, and also you can find everything you need to know about the Gene Riggle Memorial, GeneRigglememorial.com. We plan this year to, uh, to film the races, and uh, they'll be on both the Facebook and on the website as soon as we can get them uploaded afterwards. I know the Tigers always broadcast the races, and I've always been real proud of the fact that I get a lot of our service members tell me, hey, it's like taking me to the fair. So I'd like to everybody, you know, that's got uh, family members in the service, let them know they can see a race from the fair. If not that night, the next day it'll be, it'll be online. Has uh, obviously here locally, we've uh, we, we've seen a lot of the uh, great things that have come about from the Gene Regal Memorial, but uh, amongst uh, harness racing and that industry, are people starting to take notice, uh, especially when discussing that prize money? I mean, you, you go from ten thousand to twenty thousand, and now here we are, uh, thirty thousand. I know you say it all the time, but I I think for some individuals on the outside, uh, it really is a rare feat. Uh, yeah, we're getting notice. I know last weekend I, I was told I, I did get to watch CBS Sports Channel. Um, they had the Hamiltonian. They'll have the jug, at, or the jug excuse me, this year um, live on uh, if, if you can get CBS Sports. And we were mentioned on there. I know last year on the jug, the jug uh, radio network, they talked about us all week. And uh, not only that, but the notables in our sport. I mean, last year we had the winningest driver in North America in the history of our sport here. Uh, wins by just a short piece. Um, and uh, the winningest trainer in North America, who he drove for, you know, was here. Um, I Probably not too many other county fairs anywhere, you know, are getting that type of individuals. And we, uh, we're getting ready to transition, too, and some of the folks that helped me with this, and there's so many to mention. I mentioned Ronnie and Kirby. We're, we're getting ready to transition into from fundraising um, to uh, recruiting and, uh, you know, to see, you know, who we can get here. We're not an invitational race, so it's up to the trainers to, to enter. And uh, we draw three days out, so Tuesday of the fair at 11 o'clock when the box closes, we'll know who are in those races. And I don't want to slide our other card. Other cards on a Friday night, we open up at the Colt Stakes, Signature Series Trot and Pace, a Terry Thomas Trot and the Reese Bowman Pace. Um, and we come back. The undercard now is the Partial Futurity. Um, you know, who would ever thunk it? The Partial Futurity has been around for years. It's great racing, um, Colt racing, but it's now the undercard to, you know, Riggle Memorial. And we do have folks' attention. Should be a, a awesome week of racing, and more importantly, an awesome night of racing, talking about that. Uh, last Friday of the fair, as uh, Tim Harless joins me, talking about uh, harness racing at the Great Dark County Fair, GeneRegalMemorial dot com. Uh, you can check them out uh, online. Also, they're on Facebook dot com. It's a busy, busy week. A lot of people are involved. Uh, unbelievable volunteers. Um, for you personally, and and trying to enjoy just some of it, because uh, I know you're you're working around the clock. Uh, but what do you look forward to most, and what what's your favorite part of that week? When they race, it reminds me of the movie We Are Marshall, where the coach tells his kid on Saturday morning, "You know what today is? Today's game day. Well, next a week from Friday in Greenville's race day. So when they get behind the gate, be ready to go. Yep, awesome stuff. As uh, Tim, always enjoy uh, talking to you. Anything else that you might want to throw out there? I just want to thank all of our sponsors, and you know we we do a blanket trophy sponsor every 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 heat. Um, I've got so just so many sponsors that step up to the plate. I know in the news I heard uh, on Thursday night the Flower Patch who does a little Mr. And Miss. They they do their blanket. They bring the winners out of the pageant. We always have them out in the winner's circle. That's very cool. But there's just so many people that step up for us and th- thank everybody. And uh, fair time, always a fun time, a busy time. And, uh, well, it is upon us uh, here in just a few days. 
As uh, always, enjoy talking to you and uh, look forward to getting back uh, at the grandstands and uh, check out some great racing. It, it should be a great 2014 year. And again, I just want every, especially that last Friday night, we need the place packed. Well, you got enough promotions uh, as uh, the fans are going to be rewarded for coming on out. Absolutely. As uh, we hope that they uh, come out in numbers uh, once again. Tim, thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, that's going to do it for Community Ties on this uh, Wednesday. We're going to be back uh, tomorrow talking with the Dark County Agricultural Society. they got a meeting uh, for tonight, and uh, we'll be uh, talking uh, things over with a few of the directors. And so we look forward to getting Community Ties started for a Thursday just after your 11 o'clock news. Again, GeneRegalMemorial.com, that is the website. Also, follow them on Facebook as a huge thanks to Tim Harless. And, uh, boy, it's amazing. But the Great Dark County Fair almost a week away. Up next, your Midday Farm Show. This is Tiger Country.